The race for the New South Wales Senate spot, which became vacant when my dad, Jim Mullen, passed away earlier this year, has ended. Maria Kavasic was the successful candidate and she joins me now and I'm very grateful that she agreed to join me for her first TV interview since winning the role. Maria, congratulations to you. I mean that very genuinely, but you do have very big shoes to fill. Thank you, Erin. And I certainly do have extraordinarily big shoes to fill. Your dad um, uh, was such a great Australian, um, such a legacy of service and leadership, not just in politics, but, you know, throughout his military career. And, you know, it's something that um, we all recognise and are incredibly proud of. And I'll work very, very hard to, um, to demonstrate um, the trust and confidence that has been put in me to... Um, carry on his work. I'm sure you will. Now, you're up against some tough competition. Uh, talk to me about the contest itself, how nervous you were, how close it was. What were your thoughts as you went through that process? Look, it was a fantastic contest. Like, we had six uh, candidates of an outstanding calibre, you know, which highlights, you know, the underlying strength of our party. You know, uh, our delegates were spoilt for choice in terms of the people that were there. Um, and, you know, I'm very grateful to have been selected and to have had that trace, trust placed in me. And, um, you know, whether somebody voted for me or not, it doesn't matter to me. I'm here to, to serve our members, to serve our party and to serve the people of New South Wales. Tell us about you, Maria. My dad was never afraid to talk about himself. He, he had a lot to say. <laughs> what is it about you that we should know? Uh, look, I'm a first-generation Australian. I'm somebody that, you know, when I started school, I couldn't speak English. I'm somebody... Mm. I'm a mum. I ran a small business. And I'm a community advocate. I'm somebody that actually cares about what happens. Service is important to me. Um, caring for our community and ensuring that we have the ability to deliver properly to our community is really important to me. What do you want to achieve in your tenure, however long that will be? What, what's your priority? Look, I think there are three key areas for me and they are around um, managing our current housing crisis, they are around um, advocating for small business and also in terms of connecting that through to our economy. We have some serious, serious issues at the moment we have young Australians who, you know, fear that no matter what they do, no matter how hard they work, that they will never own their own home. That's not acceptable. We have young people who are struggling to find places to rent and live. You know, Australians facing these crises on top of a cost of living crisis is, is not OK. There's been a lot of talk about the fact that the Liberal Party need more women, a, a lot of people pushing for you on that basis, aside from the fact that you're obviously very impressive just as a human being. What are your thoughts on, on the whole gender issue when it comes to politics? Look, I'd love to see more women in all roles of leadership, so whether that's across business, politics or sport. I think it's really important to have people who represent us in Parliament reflect our community, people that have got real-world lived experience. And I think that that's something that, um, you know, I am able to offer. And, you know, my gender is my gender. And, um, you know, I believe that I was selected on the basis of, of what I have to offer. But I think it's really important for us to allow opportunities across the spectrum. And that diversity isn't just around gender, though. That is critically important. That diversity encompasses background, skills and culture as well. Oh, well done. Congratulations again. Look, I'd never be so cheeky as to give you advice, but I will say when Dad passed away, <laughs> the one thing that everyone in the house said to me from both sides, all different political parties, was that when he said something to you, he meant it. He was a man of his word and his smile. So smile a lot and enjoy yeah. it. I know it's going to be tough, but make sure you enjoy it because Dad genuinely loved it. Thank you, Erin. Thank, Thank you. you. That, they're wonderful words to finish with. I appreciate it. Thank See you so you. much. Thank you for joining me.